Now let us see how we can prepare GST annual return GSTR9 from WebGST software. First we log into the software, select the relevant SSE and the relevant financial year which is 2017-18 in this case. Thereafter we will select GSTR9 annual return from the menu. And the first screen that we get here is showing you how the data of the returns GSTR1, GSTR3B and GSTR2A is being downloaded from the GST common portal. And the green color indicates that the data has been downloaded successfully for the months or for the returns that the data is pending will be shown in mustard or yellow color. So in those cases you can uh, click here and download the data again. You can take care like this and re-import the data later on. So first of all, uh, let us and this data is being populated, auto-populated in the various fields. Now the data that we have got here, what does that mean? This data is basically a total or the consolidation of the data that was given to by you in the various returns filed by you for the financial year 2017-18 from July 2017 to March 2018. So when we talk about 4A supplies my two unregistered persons B2C, here the tooltip is giving you the various instructions regarding that particular item also. And so this the amount that is appearing here that means the total amount uh, filed in the GSTR1 from the months of July, to July 2017 to March 2018. Similarly, for all these fields, this is a consolidation of the data that was filed in the various monthly or the quarterly returns. Now, this data is available and uh, if some data is not coming properly or for whatever reason or the department is allowing uh, making certain corrections that in those fields you can make the corrections like this. The data is editable, the fields are editable and also we can also click in the subheading and Excel like sheet will open. Here also we can punch in the data if it has not come due to whatever reason and we can save the data. Then also you can put some comments for this sheet, comments or notes for the sheet. This is only for memory purposes. You can put the comments, you can save it. And later on, uh, this will help you uh, when you open the sheet again. Uh, this will not go in the return in any case. Then also for each cell, this I was talking about the sheet, but for each cell also we are giving this option of giving the notes or the comments uh, whereby we can put some like uh, the if th this figure is the uh, uh, it constitutes uh, two figures. Uh, a is this much amount, B is this much amount, then we can total the figures and show that the, in the comments here. So that breakup can be shown or some other thing, uh, some text etc can be shown like this. And also we can edit the comment, we can remove the comment also this by right, -click, right clicking it. So these facilities are there. Then once this data comes and when we compare it with the profit and loss account or the our accounts whether it is tally busy or sap whatever you are using and there are some differences between the two so how do we understand what is the reason for difference i think we will be needing month wise data for that but from nowhere you will be getting the month wise data of the returns uh, uh, unless and until you take all the data filed by you you compile it you consolidate it and then you do it but we are giving this facility of month wise item wise detail. You can click it here and the data will be available to you. This is the annual data that was just being shown to you in the previous screen. And here also uh, that data is appearing. This is the annual data and then month wise data is also appearing. For the July month, th this is the data that you had filed. For August month, this is the data that you had filed and also for a particular item, let's say item 4A, supplies made to unregistered persons, I want to know the month-wise breakup. So this facility is available whereby for this particular item, the month-wise data, the amount, the taxes will be available like this. You can go from here also as I showed you and also from here one by one you can go and uh, see like this. So this is very useful from nowhere else you can get this kind of uh, data this kind of information which is definitely very useful and if you want some further analysis then this option of export to excel is also available to you whereby you can export the data to excel i've already exported it i can show you it here and this data is available to you any kind of analysis or use of vlookup and other formulas in excel you can do for further analysis
so again very useful then this this was the outward supplies on which tax was payable thereafter we have outward supplies on which tax is not payable like exports supplies to scz etc this data will come from the returns that we have filed thereafter the itc will come the details of itc in part 3 uh the total amount that you have claimed as per 3b will be appearing in this column 6a and then further breakup is need to be given in uh, 6b and other uh, uh, fields the breakup of inputs capital goods and input services but this data was never asked by the government in 3b that have been filed by you that is why the the breakup is not available and that is why the amount has been given in the field of inputs only but if uh, you have capital goods also input services also then this amount needs to be broken up and the relevant breakup needs to be given in these columns so please do that then proceeding further let us see what next is there then details of itc reversed and ineligible itc if some uh, car has been purchased and uh, for that uh, the itc was there that needs to be reversed or some uh, food items have been purchased by you for staff or otherwise in that case that itc is not eligible that needs to be reversed from here again this information will be taken from the 3b already been filed by you then other itc related information the data as per gstr 2a the itc that is available from the returns difference if any all these things will automatically be calculated and thereafter the details of taxes paid by you so uh, amount paid through itc amount paid through cash and the total amount payable will appear here part 5 again is something very important till now from part 1 to part 4 that we had talked about that was the data that was being uh, given by you in the returns filed from july 2017 to march 2018 for the financial year 2017-18 but the government had given us this facility whereby we can give uh, any bills that had been left out or any uh, input tax credit that was not claimed by us in 2017-18 returns we could have and we can claim uh, this uh, itc by virtue of uh, the returns that we filed from uh, for the next financial year 2018-19 from the months of april to september 2018 so uh, we could have given this data and we have given if we have given this data this will be downloaded in uh, in this column uh, 10 11 12 and 13 Uh, these could be bills that uh, in uh, outward supplies that you had uh, shown in the subsequent year uh, for the first 6 months or the itc that was not claimed by you or that itc that was not reversed by you all these details are coming now but this data is coming can you make any head or tail out of it what is this because these are total figures and when you check the returns of april to september 2018 there the data of the current year 2018 will also be there and the data of 2017-18 will be there so it will be a hodgepodge you will be uh, it will be difficult for you it will be something some additional exercise for you to do this work but we are giving this facility to you whereby you can get the breakup of this data the breakup of invoice wise breakup of these data that we are giving here you can click and so this is the invoice by is breakup of data that i was talking to you about and this is the data of the invoices or the credit debit notes uh, which were pertaining to 2017-18 but they have been shown in the returns of 2018-19 from the months of april to september because if you see the returns of these months of the next financial year you will be getting the data for both the years so we have cherry picked this data for you and this data is available for you and also if you do want to do some further analysis then you can export this data to excel also like this and you can do further analysis here so again a very good facility then what else what more remains let us see this was the item uh, we were talking about part 5 so this data uh, very conveniently we can get from the software 
by clicking on this button thereafter if there is any uh, difference in uh, tax uh, paid the amount payable will come because of these amendments etc the amount payable will come and the amount that you have paid you can punch it here like this and thereafter the next part is other information this is basically uh, relating to demands and refunds if there is any demand or refund of gst that can information can be punched here thereafter some further information they are asking about uh, supplies received from composition taxpayers and deemed supplies in goods sent on approval basis this information can be provided here thereafter the uh, hsny summary of outward supplies will come here uh, this be, this is being taken from gstr1 that was filed by you this information was available but hsny summary of inward supplies this is not available why because this information was never asked by the government or provided by you in 3b that is why this information has not come here again we can click on the subheading and we can punch in the data or if it's available in some excel sheet we can copy paste the data here and save it this is how we can punch in in this data thereafter the late fee uh, payable will come here and the amount paid if any will appear here so other things uh, we have already talked about thereafter you can save it you can take a print out and later on when the government uh, releases the utility and uh, uh, allows you to uh, the JSN structure is being allowed and it allows you to upload you can save the JSN and this can be uploaded on the website so this is how the annual return can be prepared in a very simple and convenient manner from the web GST software.